having saved a few dogs from living on the streets, we uh, decided we'd try to do something a bit bigger and help more dogs. Rachel joined a WeChat group for dog lovers and they mentioned there was a dog shelter. We were like, uh huh? There's a dog shelter? How have we never heard of it? We're always trying to help dogs. So we got in touch with the people that ran it and uh, asked if we could do some volunteering. Figured we're pretty good candidates because we've already got three dogs. We didn't really know what to expect. The shelter's on the uh, edge of the city. I guess because of all the barking, it helps with all the noise complaints. We went out there and on arrival we noticed um, they have these cages outside the entrance so people can drop off unwanted pets there. And that seems like a good idea I guess because here it's quite common for people to just leave an unwanted pet just out on the street. Hello. As we walked up, we both felt a little bit nervous. Oh my God. Walking through that gate was just a whole bag of emotions. It was like, imagine the dog on the road, 200 dogs, all desperate to greet you like your long lost family. Like it was loving, but at Hello. the same time, the scale of the place, it was just so much to take in. There were literally dogs of every type here. Some came with injuries and illnesses. In fact, it was really sad because uh, Rachel actually noticed one that wasn't moving and it had actually died. It's really sad. We just found one that had died. I thought he was asleep. Oh, there's another brim. I'm going to sweep. And they did it as dignified as they could. It was really, you know, really sad. Hey. You're my friend, aren't you? Hello. You need a little bit of a bath. You're fair. There are a lot of dogs here. Our job as volunteers was really just to help clean up all the pee and poop because it was like a daily battle to keep the place clean. <laughs> One thing you couldn't capture was the smell. Like it wasn't overwhelming, but you, you could definitely notice it. Oh, you hello. Everyone wants to come and say hello. It's my phone. Sadly, China doesn't have an amazing reputation for animal care. Uh, there's still several places where people eat a lot of dogs. Uh, not so much in Wenzhou, but it can still happen here. So because of that, the, uh, the ladies running the shelter tried to keep it a secret. And that made it really hard for them to fundraise publicly. Sea of dogs, all shapes and sizes. And they're all so friendly, they just want love. They're all cool. Oh. So, yeah. Are you helping my cut? It's okay. They're friendly. But there was a solid group of supporters who donate money every day and help them keep buying food and things for the dogs and pay for some basic medical costs. And there were also some local vets who would happily work for discount just to help because they, uh, they really empathize with the situation as well. Some little ones off to the side or some of them that are angry. Not so friendly. Someone got rashes. It's so sad. Should do. Really. 
a little scary. I can't leave them. You say hello? Oh, boo, 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 boo. Thought you'd say that. This actually uh, really changed my view of the Chinese treatment of animals. You know, we always like to see the worst, but this place was kind of inspiring, you know. These ladies had next to no resources and they couldn't even really fundraise publicly, but they were doing everything they could. But so much care and compassion in these wonderful, wonderful ladies. And in fact, since then, I've come to see actually more and more, there's, there's a lot of kind people out there who really do have a heart and they can empathize with our four-legged friends but I mean it's crazy just look at what these three ladies are doing every day it's backbreaking work oh. because the money is quite limited they actually buy dog food and then they they cook some rice and mix it with that to make it go further because there's just so many mouths to feed. With so many dogs, there is of course a little bit of doggy style romance going on. So we could actually see a few uh, litters of puppies being guarded by their mothers from all the other dogs. When the ladies found that one of these puppies was a little sick, they actually took him straight away. Like, they dropped everything and took this puppy uh, to a vet to get checked out. This one's an asshole. Don't talk to him. He's jumping. This one's. What's up, this dog thing? He gets excited and jumps. It's time to go. We say bye bye to the doggies. One thing I really want you to see in this video is the hard work and compassion of the ladies running the shelter. I know the footage looks a bit yucky, but they're really trying their best with very limited resources. On my second visit, I actually took them some wire brushes so that they could do the clean a bit quicker and free up a bit more time to do a million other things that these dogs really need. Animals might not always have a great time in China, but there really are people who care about them and want to help. And the dedication of the culture here, people really will give something their all when they care about it. So in my next video, we're off to see China's biggest waterfall. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and share. Thanks. This guy won't let us clean the floor. He just wants to shower. <laughs> Mama! <laughs>